Hey guys, Ford's here. Today I'm gonna to talk about VLAN trunks. So VLAN trunks, when I was trying to research about this topic, I was kinda of asking myself why there is, I see VLAN trunking uh, or just trunks or just trunk links. There are, there are a few or a couple of terms, but they actually refer to the same uh, thing, which is uh, VLAN trunks or Ethernet trunks. So VLAN trunks, as you can see in my on my screen, uh, carry the traffic of multiple VLANs over a single link. So this is actually beneficial when you have a scenario where you have a you have a switch that is connected to another switch. So in that case, instead of um, connecting multiple ports, you have to just connect one port and uh, do a uh, trunk uh, between or configure a trunk between uh, the switches. So there are two trunk encapsulations as you can as you can see here. Uh, one is IESL, which is no longer supported across all Cisco switches. So the purpose of this, the purpose why I added this here, just, you know, for, it's just for FYI for, for all of us. And the, the one that is being used in the standard is that one Q. So it says here that VLANs are tagged in each frame using the IEEE 802.1Q standard protocol, except for their native VLAN. There are, a few interface or layer two interface modes. One is um, access, dynamic auto, dynamic desirable trunk, and uh, no negotiate. In this example, I mean, in this video, I'm just gonna configure trunk and no, no negotiate. But just to talk about, I mean, just to explain it a bit, uh, mode is, I mean, access is basically, this is the port that is connected to the use to the end users, right? Uh, usually. And dynamic auto, this is a kind of equivalent to passive. So, so the port will participate in the uh, negotiation, but it will not initiate it. So it's, it's like waiting to be for the, for the other, port on the other end to uh, initiate the trunking. <clears throat> and desirable, this is this is like active. So this port here, I mean, if you configure this mode on a port, on a trunk port or just a port, it will actively um, initiate the negotiation between uh, the two ports on the uh, two switches. And trunk, basically, what you're saying here is you're, you're saying that the port um, is trunk, but it's really still uh, negotiate or participate in the uh, trunk negotiation. And there is, uh, it's, it's worth to notice, I mean, to mention that the, there is this dynamic trunking protocol. This is basically the frames that are sent between two switches, let's say switch A, switch B, to negotiate the trunking mode between the two switches, as you can see here. And last but not least, this is the last interface mode is switch port, no negotiate. So this, this is something that you configure when you configure switch port mode, I mean, switch port, switch port mode trunk or switch port mode access. So we're saying that you are forcing that port to be trunk and you don't want to be participate in the uh, DTP uh, negotiation or trunk negotiation. So this is, this is what, this is, when I mean, in that case, we will you will configure this uh, option here or command. 
All right, so this is how you can configure a VLAN or IEEE 802.1Q trunk or configure a VLAN trunk. So this, these are these are the same commands that I will configure on both switches, uh, switch one and switch two. Let me show you. Let me show you my uh, topology here. So I have switch one, switch two, and they are connected with this port here. And I have PC one and PC two. PC one is connected to switch one, and PC two is connected to uh, switch two. All right, so let me start with the configuration. I think it's worth to explain it a bit while doing the configurations. So switch port, all I'm saying here, or all I'm doing here is I'm, I'm forcing this port to be a layer two port or switch port. And switch port trunk encapsulation, this is where I uh, specifying that the encapsulation is that one X because you can also, well, in this case, ISL is still supported uh, with this version of a switch, but, <clears throat> but uh, nowadays you should use that one X, that one, not that one X, that one Q. And after that, this is when you say that the mode is trunk. And if you don't want to be particip if you don't want to participate in the DTP negotiation, you can figure this command here. And this is how you specify the native VLAN. In this case, I'm specifying that the native VLAN is 100. By default, it's one. And this is how you allow VLANs. So in my case. I'm allowing the native VLAN and uh, VLAN 200. You just go ahead and end and save the config. That's for switch one. And I will just copy and paste these commands on switch two just to make it faster. And these are the configuration commands that you can use to verify the trunk configuration. So here, we can see that switch port is enabled, administrative mode is trunk, operational mode is trunk, administrative trunking encapsulation is that one Q, operational trunking encapsulation is that one Q, okay? Negotiation of trunk is, is off because we configured this here. And access mode VLAN, this should be, yeah, it should be this actually. <clears throat> but I have to, why are you saying that it's inactive? Yeah, I think we need to configure or create VLAN 100 first. And I will do the same on switch two. Okay, and just to create that VLAN completely. Now I see VLAN 100. So let me do that command again. Okay, now it's it's not saying inactive anymore. Before it was saying inactive, but now it's saying it's not saying that anymore. But so technically, uh, VLAN one is not the default anymore. I mean, it's not it's the default, but we configured this port. I mean, VLAN one hundred to be the native VLAN on this port, right? And yeah, native VLAN tagging enabled. Didn't configure voice VLAN. Uh, this is just uh, talking about private VLANs. 
trunking VLANs enabled for these uh, VLANs, VLANs, right? Yeah, so uh, the trunk is working as expected, or VLAN trunk. Let me just do this another command. So we see that this is the trunk port, right? Gig zero slash zero. So mode on encapsulation 802.1Q status trunking native VLAN 100. So it's working as expected. So that's how you can, oops. That's how you can, where's my, uh, configure a VLAN trunk or Ethernet trunk or just a trunk on Cisco switches. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.